Welcome to this Excel Stat short video on how to compare an average to reference with a student's t-test and a z-test in Excel Stat. The data correspond to the mathematic grade average for the first semester of a class of 33 students. We want to compare the results of those students with the county average, which is 11.5. We don't have the information about the variance of this statistic, so we cannot run a z-test. We will therefore run a student t-test. In the descriptive analysis results, we can see that the class average is 11.121. We can use a t-test to determine if the difference between the average of the class and the average of all the students in the county are similar or different with a risk of 5%. Go over to the menu Parametric Tests and select the option One Sample T-Test and Z-Test. In the dialog box, select the data, press the range selector and select the column B that contains the mass average. The data format is one column per sample. Here we have only one column corresponding to one sample to test. If the data were spanned on several columns for the same sample, we could use the other option, one sample. The name of the column was included in our data selection, so we take the option, column labels. Finally, we decide to run a t-test rather than a z-test. The z-test is not possible as we don't have the information about the standard deviation of the population. We leave the option sheet to have the results displayed in a new sheet of the current workbook. We can move on to the tab Options to specify our analysis. The first thing to do is to select the alternative hypothesis. We know that the average of the class is inferior to the county average, so we can select the option mean 1 inferior to theoretical mean to run a one-sided test. One-sided tests are more powerful than two-sided tests. Then we enter 11.5 in the theoretical mean field. The default significance level is set to 5%. We will use this standard value. In the missing data tab, we can choose any option as we don't have any missing data in this data set. For the last section, Outputs, we select the only available option, Descriptive Statistics. When everything is set, press OK. In the Selection window, verify that we have the selection of the 33 students for one variable and click Continue. The results of the t-test appear in a new sheet. Look at the p-value for this test. We get 0.272, which is greater than the limit of 0.05. Therefore, you cannot reject the null hypothesis. So the class of students is performing as good as the average of the county. To go further with comparing averages, we can now use the standard deviation for the mass grades for the county. Let's use 0.55, so the variance is 0.3025. In the first tab, General, this time instead of the student t-test option, choose the option z-test. In the tab Options, you need to set the variance for the z-test. Opt for the option User Defined and set the value to 0.3025. 3025. We won't make any changes in the missing data and output tabs. Click on OK. In the results page, you now have that the hypothesis H0 should be rejected as the p-value is much lower than the 5% limit. Hence, the students perform significantly worse than the students of the county. Thank you for watching this video.